very happy evening once again. I would like to officially welcome you all towards today's webinar. So today's webinar, we're going to focus on two important parameters, skill assessment, as well as on your entire micro presentation aspect. That is going to be a core focus. Trust me, your skill assessment, as well as your entire micro presentation is going to be literally easy, provided in which you know a few kind of important techniques and strategies. That's more than enough. Trust me, if you really know your techniques, your entire skill assessment is going to be very simplified for you. It's not like a PhD thesis. It's not like a PhD thesis. If you're able to speak for one minute in your micro presentation, that's more than enough. I was just telling yesterday also to the team that I hope all of you are good at gossiping over here, right? At least with your friends, all of you might have gossiped. Randomly, you'll be speaking for how much ever minutes you don't care. You just keep on speaking. Similar way for your micro presentation, the beauty is about you just keep on speaking just for one minute. Can't you speak for one minute continuously, all of you guys? school days you've heard of this beautiful concept called a pick and speak concept pick and speak means what i'm randomly picking a particular concept and i'm speaking about it and trust me when you're picking on a particular topic and when you're speaking it you just need to channelize properly that's more than enough so first of all i want to tell you a very important creamy layer of knowledge to understand that if you understand your micro presentation your skill assessment is going to be very easy it's a both similar kind of same kind of pattern there's no much kind of difference skill assessment you're just going to put in the paper Whereas in your micro presentation, all that you're going to do is what? It's just like a mind game. Mind game means what? You are just going to keep this one important kind of important parameter, which basically means you're mainly going to focus on one important parameters. Just going to reiterate once again. That is about what? Channelizing your structure of your thoughts in a proper analogical manner. So all of you have who have your micro presentation for tomorrow, I just want to tell you one thing. If you're getting any particular topic, please just speak into it. The first important point of your micro presentation is about you give your attempt. Do not fear that you will not be able to speak very confidently. You have just less knowledge about it. At least if you have 20 to 30 percentage of the knowledge, that's more than enough. I literally bet you that's more than enough. You don't need to know PhD of a particular topic. It's a natural phenomena to understand at least 20 to 30 percentage. For example, major kind of topics which they have been asking is about you know climate change, global warming. These are very simple topics, air pollution, water pollution, environmental issues, or they have been asking about Beti Bajao, Beti Padao, Smart India. They can ask you about, you know, basic things, how technology is basically been evolving, what is the evolution of the growth, uh, evolution of growth of business, business sector, or something about your own respective fields which you're studying. For example, if Janana Samyata is studying a uh, law, then obviously she'll be getting some kind of questions which is related to the law. Now, if you know at least 30% of the topic, give an attempt. Okay, but if you do not know anything, here comes to my second important formula, you have zero percentage knowledge. You feel like you do not know anything. For example, they ask about, you know, recent Kashmir issue, and you do have zero kind of, then you can tell them, sorry, sir, I'm not aware about this topic. Can you please give me another particular topic? Just request them. They will surely be giving another topic. Okay, some professors will be giving you, it depends on some professors, but however, some of them might give you an other topic or else use this formula, this mantra only at the very last, you know, this was basically said to me by one of the professors. If you have zero clue in a micro presentation topic, then you just, you can tell that, sorry, sir, I'm not aware of this topic, but I've just prepared on this particular topic for micro presentation. Can I speak for the same? Some professors are also allowing for that. Is that clear? Yes, sir. So here comes to my second point. My third point, which I want to reiterate is about for your micro presentation, all that you need to do is about channelizing. It's very simple formula. Channelize, channelize, channelize your entire structure, even for your skill assessment. How are you going to channelize? I'm going to reiterate now. I'm going to explain now. Just follow the format. Okay. Fourth important tip which I want to highlight is about your entire micro presentation and skill assessment is basically more about your observance skill. So all that I want you to do is about from tonight, as soon as this call is ending, to tomorrow you're reaching out towards your interview hall or day after tomorrow you're reaching towards your interview hall just think about a particular topic and just mentally speak about the topic in your mind i'm just literally telling try to do it so let me give an instance okay i try to apply micro presentation skill always in my life you know why so today we had a meeting with a couple of ngos in bangalore so i was working on a couple of central government projects so we had to go to different kind of ngo places visit there talk to the stakeholders how they are basically been functioning you know and what kind of loopholes they have been facing i need to provide a policy making to the government this is one of the projects which i am the project coordinator for it's called project icsr 
The thing is about when I go to an NGO, I do not have time to study about that particular organization. So what I do, I just learn three to four lines and I just mentally try to recollect one by one. All that I'm going to ask them mentally, I'm just going to speak in my mind again and again. So what happened, I'm already trained myself before I reach in that particular office, all that I need to ask. So here is one important technique for all of you guys. Whenever you want to speak anything on spot, even for your regular interview, I just tell you this one important one, keep on mentally prepare on a particular kind of topic. Now I'll tell you a very simple aspect from as soon as you end this particular call, as soon as you're going to proceed for tomorrow's interview, just typically any one particular topic, very simple topics, for example, no, like uh, important, okay, you start with some basic topics, the importance of having a smartphone, why it is important. Just keep on mentally telling yourself this five to six lines. Then you shift your focus to one of the topics. And again, speak about that on the same topic for five to six lines. Okay, or at least like 10 lines or just for a 60 seconds. Is that clear formula? Try to repeat it regularly from today to your day after tomorrow, this one. And I want to read it once again. If you learn this particular formula, you know, your real interview is also going to be easy. Why? I'm just going to reiterate in very much lengthy process. Now, let me tell you this entire process of how your micro presentation and skill assessment is happening. Okay? It's very simple process. You are getting a 10 seconds time to think on a particular topic. Okay, how many how many seconds? Just 10 seconds time you're going to get time to think on a particular topic. And then you're supposed to speak for 60 to 90 seconds. Sometimes interviews might even cut you short by 45 seconds. That's totally fine. It doesn't even matter for you. Okay, but in case if you're mentally prepared, your entire interview is going to be like a really a cakewalk. But I want to put a disclaimer for people who had their interviews even for today. Some of them didn't get a micro presentation topic. Okay, so it's not a compulsion that in an interview, they will be asking micro presentation topic. It totally depends on the interview, whether to ask or whether not to ask particular task input. See, for your upcoming interview, I just wanted to tell once again is about, I say this points always, the first important aspect which you need to always keep in your mind for your interview is about how well you're going to present yourself. And I think anyone who's going to prepare for any interviews in the world, they should know the art of explaining to a person. Got it? I have a pen. Now when I'm explaining to you, Gautam, this is the way how you need to use the pen. Then only Gautam will be able to use. Similar way in an interview, the best exceptional quality, which you can basically perform is about how you can learn to explain a particular person. If you're able to do that particular task, then trust me, you're half of your ta done task is basically done. So do not just tell the answer for the sake of telling, but always learn the habit of explaining a thing. Point number two, as said always, confidence is the key. Okay. In respect to what happens for tomorrow, confidence should always be there for your interview. If you do not have any confidence, do not interview into your panel. So how are you going to build your confidence just within one day? Very simple. Keep on mentally tell yourself that I'm very confident. I'm very much relaxed and I'm very much focused. When you keep on telling this again and again and again, your mentally, it keeps on registering and that's more than enough for your real kind of interview for you to surely ace in your life. That's a very big important thing. Point number three is about, I genuinely like the Symbiosis College car interview, which is going to happen very shortly. Symbiosis College have a beautiful way of interview, you know, which is about they normally ask a lot about opinion-based questions. Whereas unlike other private institutions, they don't ask about facts-based, facts-based. Whereas college like Simbi and all, they used to ask more about opinion. There is a recent so-and-so particular problem happening in your respective state. What particular actions can you take? For example, uh, just imagine that, you know, there is a particular recent crisis which has been happening within our country. What particular actions could you be taking about it? Do you think the role of government, you know, the decision of the government about this particular decision, was it right or wrong? Do you think the election went in a fair and proper manner? Do you think that the poll booth capturing was one of the biggest ever problem? So do you think that this particular decision is right or wrong? So your opinions are basically being tested in the colleges like symbiosis and it is so beautiful that if you're able, if you're able to prepare now, any college interviews will be like really helpful. So please do learn the art of giving your own version of explanation. That is very much important. Is this the third or fourth point? Yeah. So the next important fourth point is about in your interview, it's always important that you learn the art and skill of channelizing. What do you mean by channelizing? Channelizing is nothing but especially I just tell this for my uh, Simbi kids, okay, Symbiosis kids. 
and normally for other colleges also I just tell it but it's about you must learn the element of channelizing your energy to different kind of questions in different manner for example how you're telling for your first answer may not be the same how you need to repeat for the other subsequent answers why because each answer i feel like you should give your own examples your own illustration where no you have personally seen your life and then you on that particular basis you can do the modification so learn this very much important skill the skill it will really help you to understand how you can basically attempt the question in different kind of standard structure now the fifth important aspect which i want to highlight is about smile in your interview okay i'm just giving you outside the knowledge questions throughout the interview learn the art of smiling if you're able to smile then trust me your confidence level as well as the interviews will feel that you are really kind of worth enough to this place now i want to highlight to you is about just like this this like this is a black rock a uh, black rock which is then man I, i really like this rock so you all of you have your own carved version inside and in case if you really possess some kind of you know uh, some kind of aspect in case in an interview they feel that your personality your in a, in an interview i hope most of you know that your true personality comes out similar way in certain kind of questions obviously your behavior can be understood so be very respectful be very polite only then your uniqueness can basically stand out in an interview is that clear